Welcome to Java Vest Tutorial Channel. In this video, we will talk about the microservices design pattern. We will cover a microservice architecture and 10 essential microservices design pattern and the principle. So, what is the microservices architecture? The microservice architecture is structured on the business domain and it's a collection of a small autonomous services. In a microservices architecture, all the components are self contained and wrap up around the single business capacity. So, why do we need to consider a microservice architecture instead of monolithic architecture? Visibility high. MSA provides a better visibility to your services and improves resilience on our services network. Also, production time reduced. We reduce delivery time for idea to final product. Also, reduce costs. We reduce overall, overall cost of designing and implementing. Also, maintaining IT services. What are the 10 essential microservice design patterns and principles? Number one, database based service. Event sourcing, CQRS, command query segmentation pattern, Saga pattern, BFF backend for front end, EBI gateway, struggler, circuit breaker, externalized configuration, finally, customer driven contract tracing. The first service is a database peer microservice pattern. A database designed to rapidly involving and there are numerous handles to overcome while developing a microservice-based solution. Database architecture is one of the most important aspects of microservices. There are two main points for organizing database when using a microservice architecture. The first one is a database-based service, and second one is a shared database. So a database-based service, this concept is significant forward. There is a data stored for each microservice. The second one is a shared database. The second pattern is event sourcing pattern. The event sourcing pattern is responsible for giving a new order sequence of events. The application state can be reconstructed using query the data. And in order to do this, we need to re-image every change to the state of application. Event sourcing is based on the idea that any change in an entity state should be captured by the system. Command query segmentation. We can divide the pattern into two parts with commands and queries. Commands change the state of the object or entity, and queries return the state of the entity and will not change anything. In traditional data management system, there are some issues. The first issue is risk of data contention, and the second one is managing performance and security of comics as objects are exposed to both reading and writing applications. What is the Saga pattern? Saga is one of the best solutions to keep consistency with data in distributed architecture without having the SCIT principles. Saga is responsible for committing multiple commentary transactions by giving rollback opportunities. There are two ways to achieve the sagas. The first one is choreography, and the second one is orchestration. Now it's time for the back end for front end pattern. So this pattern is used to identify how the data is featured between the server and client. Ideally, the front-end team will be responsible for managing the back-end for front-end. A single back-end for front-end is responsible for handling the single UI, and it will be help us to keep the front-end sim simple and see a unified view data through the back-end. The sixth pattern is EBI Gateway pattern. This microservice architecture pattern is really good for large applications with multiple clients, apps, and it's responsible for giving a single entry point for a certain group of microservices. ABI Gateway sites between the client apps and the microservices, and it serves as a reverse proxy forwarding client requests to services. Authentications, SSL terminations, and caching are some of the other cross-cutting services it can provide. As you can see, the ABI Gateway have authentication, shipping, and reporting. You can find more details about the ABI gateway in the link below. The pattern number seven is struggler. The struggler design pattern is a popular design pattern to incrementally transform your monolithic application to microservices by replacing all the functionality, as we can see, to a new services. That's happened once a new comment is ready. The old comment is struggler and a new one is what to use. The eighth pattern is circuit breaker pattern. 
circuit breaker pattern is the solution for the failure of remote calls or the hang without response. Until some timeout limit is reached, you can run out of the critical resource. If you having many calls with an unresponsive suppliers, and this will lead to failure across the multiple system in the application. Number nine is externalized configuration. Often services need to be run in different environments. Environment specific configuration is required such as the secret keys, database credentials, and so on. Changing the service for each environment has a number of drawbacks. So how we can enable services to run in multiple environments without modification? You can find more details about the externalized configuration in the link below. The last button is the customer driven contract tracing. When a team is constructing multiple related services at the same time as a part of modernization effort and your team known the domain language of the bounded context but not in the individual properties of each aggregate and event below, the customer driven contract approach may be effective. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, you can find details about microservice design button in the link below. You should check in. Thank you. Goodbye.